Acetaminophen toxicosis. Acetaminophen is also known as paracetamol or n acetylparaaminophenol It is a common over-the-counter analgesic and antipyretic drug for humans. It is very rarely, if at all, used in veterinary medicine. Here's why. Acetaminophen metabolism involves these biochemical pathways. Glucuronidation, where the drug is conjugated by glucuronal transferase into acetaminophen glucuronide. Sulfation, to a lesser degree, where it is acted upon by sulfokinase to become acetaminophen sulfate. Both of these are non-toxic metabolites. However, when these pathways are saturated, that is, when there is too much acetaminophen for the enzymes to act on, acetaminophen then goes through another pathway, the cytochrome P450 oxidase system, where it is biotransformed into n acetylparabenzoquinonamine or NAPKI, a reactive toxic metabolite. NAPKI can be detoxified by glutathione into a more water-soluble, less toxic acetaminophen mercaptorate. However, this is short-lived as glutathione stores can be rapidly depleted. Before proceeding to the toxic effects of NAPKI, it must be pointed out that cats in particular are deficient in glucuronyl transferase. And their sulfation pathway is also less efficient than that of other species. Thus, only a small amount of acetaminophen is needed to saturate these two pathways, resulting in a large amount of NAPKI being produced. Dogs, on the other hand, although they have this enzyme, may have these pathways saturated at doses of acetaminophen formulated for humans. Furthermore, Repeated exposure at low doses may also cause toxicity. It is important for pet owners to know that they should not self-medicate their pets. Always consult your veterinarian when you are concerned about your pet's health. Toxic effects of NAPKI Erythrocytes, or red blood cells, are extremely susceptible to the oxidative damage brought about by NAPKI. Ferrous iron in the heme is oxidized into ferric iron turning the bright red hemoglobin into a brownish methemoglobin. Methemoglobin is much poorer at carrying oxygen than hemoglobin. Thus, methemoglobinemia brings about respiratory distress, tachycardia, weakness, and cyanosis. Its brown color makes the mucous membranes and urine dark brown, too. Cats also have a deficiency in methemoglobin reductase an enzyme that converts methemoglobin back to hemoglobin, thus making cats more likely to and more quickly manifest these clinical signs. Cat erythrocytes also have more sulfhydryl groups than dogs and humans, making their hemoglobin more likely to denature and precipitate as Heinz bodies. This results in increased osmotic fragility and lead to hemolytic anemia. This adds to the respiratory distress, tachycardia, weakness, and cyanosis experienced by the animal. Hepatocytes suffer from centrilobular necrosis, partially due to the decreased oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood, and because of direct oxidative damage that occurs as acetaminophen from the portal vein is metabolized into NAPKI closer to the central vein. This acute liver injury results in increased ALT, AST, and total bilirubin, as well as icterus, abdominal pain, and vomiting. Facial and slash or paw edema may also occur, the mechanism of which is not fully understood. Depending on the severity of the case, clinical signs can progress to shock, coma, and even death. Diagnosis. Clinicians must look out for history of access to and ingestion of acetaminophen. Note that many human medications contain a combination of acetaminophen and some other drugs. It is important to obtain an accurate description of what was ingested during history taking. Matching clinical signs can also point to the diagnosis. Complete blood count may reveal methemoglobinemia and or Heinz body anemia. 
and the serum chemistry profile may show increased ALT, AST, and tot mobilirubin. Treatment If presented within 2 hours of ingestion, emesis may be induced, followed by administration of activated charcoal with cathartic. This is to reduce absorption of the offending agent. Thereafter, the following may be given. An acetylcysteine, the drug of choice for acetaminophen toxicosis. It serves as a glutathione precursor, increasing the levels of glutathione to conjugate with NAPK. It has free sulfhydryl groups that can bind directly to NAPK too. It can also increase levels of free serum sulfate, making the sulfation pathway less saturated. It is important to note though that n acetylcysteine can be absorbed by activated charcoal. Thus, they must be given at least two hours apart from each other. Ascorbic acid promotes the reduction of methemoglobin back to hemoglobin. And cimetidin, an H2 receptor antagonist, usually used as an anti-ulcer drug. But in this case, it is used for its effect as a cytochrome P450 inhibitor, thereby inhibiting this part of the pathway that produces NAPKI. Supportive care, of course, such as intravenous fluid therapy, supplemental oxygen, and blood transfusions should be given as needed. Prevention. This is to be reiterated. Do not self-medicate your pets. Acetaminophen may be an over-the-counter drug often taken by humans that feel ill, and well-meaning pet owners may give it to their sick pets. This will do more harm than good. Always consult your veterinarian for the proper treatment of your pets. All medications, whether for humans or for animals, should be stored properly and out of your pet's reach. 